Hello guys, in this video we'll talk about STURGE 2. So we'll see an example of STURGE 2. So prerequisite for this is you need, you need to have uh, some idea about uh, servlets, uh, JSP, and uh, some theory about STURGE. Uh, you can learn those theory by visiting on, you just go to Google and search for STURGE example or STURGE theory. And using any website you can learn the theory part. And to demonstrate the example, you can view this video. Now in this video, we'll, we'll create an application in which user will enter a name, and depending upon that name, we'll show the greetings. Example, if I enter a name like Navin, so I will show the greeting as Hello Navin. That's it, that's what we want to do here. But instead of doing this with the help of servlet architecture, uh, which is, uh, you can either use MVC there, but in Sturge 2, we have to use Sturge 2 framework in which instead of using a normal servlet, we have to use something else. Now what exactly that else is, for that let's, let's, uh, let's create a project. So we'll say that new project and in this we'll select Java web, web application and we'll say next, we'll give a project name as let's say demo starts. Okay, in case, in, in, in fact we have uh, two versions of Sturge, one is Sturge 1 and Sturge 2, and there's a lot of difference between Sturge 1 and Sturge 2. If you have a Stur if you know Sturge 1, so if you're thinking that Sturge 2 will be easy for you, then it's no, because there are lots of changes. And because of this uh, problem, lots of people, they have moved from Sturge 2, or they have left St uh, Sturge framework, and they have moved towards Spring MVC now. But still, uh, there are some uh, companies, they are still working on Sturge framework. So we'll see starts here. Okay, so here in this server, we, we have two options. Either we can use Tomcat or we can use Glassfish. So you can choose any one. I'm going for Glassfish here. And uh, Java EE version, anything about five will do here. And then we'll click on next. Now, once you click on next, it will show you some framework. It's taking much time. So it will show lots of frameworks. I don't know, in, in your machine, what are the frameworks available? Because I'm using NetBeans here. You, you can do the same code using Eclipse. In Eclipse, it will not show these, all these frameworks. You have to configure those framework manually. In, in fact, in NetBeans also, by default, you will get option of uh, Spring MVC. You will get uh, JSF, you will get Sturge 1 and Hibernate. You will not get Sturge 2. This is, my, this, is, uh, this is the framework which I have defined. Since in your application or in your means by default it will not be configured, I will not go for any framework here. We'll configure that manually. Then click on finish. Now once you click on finish, you can see a project is ready here. And I got a HTML page. I don't want HTML here, I want a JSP, so I will close this. Let me create a JSP here. So we'll say new. Uh, JSP and we'll name this as index and click on finish. Now I got a JSP page here. Now uh, till now everything is simple, right? You you are, you have created a project, a web project, and then you have created a index.jsp page. There's nothing called as Sturge element here. Everything is normal Java web project. Now what's the advantage of using Sturge here? Now let's say uh, if I want to uh, if, I, if, I, if I want my, uh, my user to enter his name, what I want is a text box, right? So on the text box, it will enter his name, and uh, then it will he will click on a button, and depend upon the request or the action mapped, it will call the particular action, right? Or a particular servlet, you can say. Now, uh, we have to use all the uh, inbuilt elements which are provided by HTML. But what if you want some extra elements or customized elements? HTML says I will provide you some limited number of uh, tags. Then you can use something called a search tags. Now in order to use those search tag and those search features, we need to add some libraries. Now what exactly those libraries are, that we'll see in the next part of the tutorial. 